Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, I had this game, this is one of our first games we had for the NES, me and my sisters, when we first got it for Christmas, like 1988, somewhere around there. Um, select game, you can play whatever game you want. I already did a, a video about this, it was the Game On series with me and Connor. We, we went through this game, but I like this game, so I figured I'd do it for Glenn Plays Mondays. Uh, let's do a one player total game so we'll go through every game on here uh, this game isn't like wonderful by any means but it's still pretty fun right now I'm just fucking Snoopy and I gotta beat Spike across here he's already got a head start on me Usually I do better at this, I don't know what the fuck's going on with me lately. Um, yeah, we did, me and Connor did the game on one, I narrated a bunch of it. Yeah, I beat him, you see that shit? But what's interesting about this game is that it was Donald Duck in Japan, like they, they wanted to like have a, a fucking Donald Duck game. But they couldn't come up with anything original, so they just fucking, uh... Oh, wait, do I have it backwards? I don't I'd have to watch the Game On video again, but... Oh, I did shitty that time. No, I'm... I'd have to watch it again, but I don't remember the... the shit. I'm fairly certain that it was Charlie Brown first, and then they changed it to Donald Duck in Japan just because they wanted a Donald Duck game over there. Okay, that time I got it farther. The graphics in this game are pretty good. Like, I, I like the graphics and stuff in the gameplay. I think my main disappointment with it is that it's only Snoopy. Like, I wish Charlie Brown and some of the other characters would have been in it. I mean, that's just me, though. I love Charlie Brown. Snoopy was just kind of like a side character, but he got his own fucking game. This level sucks. I guarantee... Watch what's gonna happen now. I guarantee I'm not even gonna make it over his first wall. See? That one is such a bitch. Like, the timing's gotta be just fucking perfect on it. Overboard. You have to be, like, pretty precise on how you punch him, too. There's, like, a power meter and shit, too, and I'm not really under understanding how that works. There we go. When I was a kid, I would, just, I would just fucking, like, mash buttons, and that's all I would do to knock Spike in the water. But this game's pretty fun. Like, it, to this day, as it, simple and mediocre as it is, I still have fun with it. I mean, it's... This, I always say, like, fuck it. I never made it anywhere with a whole stack of pizzas. I mean, I'm sure there's, like, a way you do it where you don't dump any of them. But I always end up dumping them, so I just say fuck it like I am now and just run for it. The Leaning Tower of Pizzas over there, too, is just kind of cool. Like, you have all these, like, different locations, like, he goes to Greece and stuff, like, this is really weird. River Jump. If you watch the Game On video of me and Connor, you know I've never made this, and I'm not gonna make it this time either. Aw, oh, and I just fucked up right away. Great. The controls are really fucked up for that one. Well, last year we just had the Peanuts movie. Flying. I always think it's funny there's like a volcano in this town. Like back there, like what the fuck? 
Uh, I went and saw the Peanuts movie when it came out last year with Connor, and I wasn't impressed with it. Because all they did was take a bunch of pieces, little bits and pieces from the old Charlie Brown shorts and cartoons and stuff, and just made it CG and threw it into this movie. It really wasn't anything special. To me, it wasn't, anyway. Charles Schultz even said that the Charlie Brown should die with him. I think he said that. It's almost like uh, Kelvin and Hobbs or Heathcliff. Like, those guys didn't want there's shit going on without him, and I understand that. Because usually, Hollywood's just gonna take your stuff anyway and destroy it, you know? It's... I'd be, I'd be pissed too if, like, Charlie, the Charlie Brown movie wasn't, like, terrible, but it, I'd rather be watching, like, in, uh, a good Charlie Brown cartoon, like one of the older ones. It was good for what it was, it was just a hollow, modern Charlie Brown. It really wasn't anything special. Yeah, this is my second chance, another chance to redeem myself on the pogo thing. I let you all down. I did better that time. I fucking kicked his ass out of the boat. I something about this game just makes me feel funny. Like it, it's hard to imagine. Like there were the, in Japan, they were that desperate to have a Donald Duck game that all they did was replace the sprites. It's the same game with Donald Duck. Like I don't get it. Like was there that big of a demand over there for? You know, a Donald Duck game. One thing that is interesting, though, is that there really wasn't any Peanuts games. <sighs> Fuck, I just did it again. I was supposed to press A to run. Tap A to run. I just fucked up. No, but what I was saying is, um... There haven't been any Peanuts games, really, like Charlie Brown games. This was the only one that I was really, like, aware of. But when the when the Peanuts movie came out, they had another Snoopy game for the Xbox 360, which makes me really want to play it. And it looks like a side-scrolling game, like one of those games where it's like 3D but like 2D in a way. So maybe you guys will get to see me and Connor play that eventually. I just didn't want to drop forty dollars in the fucking game. I wanted to wait until it went down to like twenty. And the thing I can't wrap my head around is I go to Walmart all the time. They got Xbox 360 games that are like 10 years old for fucking $40. Yeah, like X-Men Origins Wolverine, which is a great fucking game. They still want like $39 for the game. It's like, you fucking kidding me? That game is so fucking old already. Drop the fucking price and get rid of them. Why are you holding on to this shit? The 360 is not a new console anymore. I suppose if I get pissed at Walmart, I have to be pissed at GameStop, because they do the same bullshit. But anyway, this is Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. It's just a series of mini-games, if you like that kind of thing. It's kind of like what you get on the Nintendo Wii. There's a bunch of games that are just fucking all mini-games. That's what this game is. So if you like that kind of thing, I mean, I don't think this game is that valuable anyway. If you have a Nintendo Entertainment System, go pick it up. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I might actually make it. I might actually make it. Holy fuck, did you just see that? Dude, the holy fuck. The Game On episode with me and Connor, I didn't even fucking make it. This is Glenn Plays Monday. This is, this is, this is Glenn Lent's history right here. I made the last fucking jump on the pogo jump. I'm not even kidding, my whole life I've never done that. My whole fucking life since I was fucking five years old, I've never been able to do that one. You guys just saw it now that I just did it. You guys just fucking witnessed it. Yeah, it may not be a big deal to a lot of people, but it's a big deal to me because I've never fucking made that jump. Okay, I gotta calm down. 
I think I just shit my fucking pants. Alright. This was Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular. I just... I closed one little teeny chapter of my life just there. You just saw it happen. I've never made those fucking jumps. Well, that's awesome. Um, Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular uh, for the NES. Not a bad little game. It's, you know, it's Charlie Brown characters in a video game playing sports and shit. Uh, I'll see you all next Monday for whatever I decide to play then. Uh, I'll see you next time. Holy fuck, did you just see that? I think I just shit my fucking pants. Shit my fucking pants. Shit my fucking pants. Shit my fucking pants. Shit my fucking pants.